Hello everybody, this is Max with A1 Website Pro, and I usually do not do hacking tutorials. I think that, you know, a lot of times it's immoral. <laughs> so, but this is going to be a hack tutorial, and, uh, you know, hopefully you guys use this responsibly. I had just had a client that, you know, ha runs a an organization with a bunch of members, and one of the members that were an administrator, set to administrator privileges, went in and deleted everybody else and messed their website up and everything. So I thought that this would be a need for a lot of people to... Uh, be able you know to be able to do this you know they try to log in their accounts gone uh, they try lost your password and since their account ex don't exist anymore they won't get a reset for their password so how do you deal with that type of situation where you don't have a login anymore because maybe somebody was uh, you know being uh, I don't know, a little spiteful well I'm going to provide a little script, and it's on a1websitepro.com. It'll be in the member section. And uh, <clears throat> what you'll do is you'll log into your cPanel, okay? Now, first of all, I am in this website right here, my test website, a1websitepro.net. And you can see that there's me. There's one, there's one user, and I have a role of administrator. So this particular hack that I'm going to teach you is going to show you how to, to as long as you can log into your cPanel, it's going to show you how you can make a new user in WordPress to do this, you know, quite simply. So basically what you'll do is you'll log into your cPanel. Now all cPanels look a little bit different, but what you're looking for is File Manager. And if you're in Chrome, Control F will bring this up and start typing in File. Okay, just like that. And what you want to do is go to this File Manager here. Okay? And uh, what you want to do is you want to go to the web, ro web root directory. Sounds like I'm getting the hiccups. And you're going to come to something like this. What I want you to do is you're going to create a new file. Okay? And you're going to delete this file after you're done with this. Okay? So this is going to be create user dot php, just like that. And you've got to make sure you put it in the public HTML and click create new file alright now scroll down to create user okay and go to your code editor okay and this is what you want to do and click edit alright now it's going to bring up a blank screen you're going to write a new file and I'm going to give everybody that's a member this file on Avon website pro and what you're going to do is you'll notice you'll put the username, you'll put three things in. Put a username, put your password, and put an email address. Okay? Everything else below this line do not bother editing. Okay? And click Save Changes. Alright. The next thing that I want you to do is I want you to go to your website. This is our test website, a1websitepro.net. And we're going to go slash create user dot php just like that and hit enter on your keyboard okay you notice it successfully created a new admin user now delete this file so go back to your users we're going to refresh this page let it refresh now you can see that Jack Smack was a user created in WordPress and you never had to log in to create this or anything now, what I want you to do is make sure that you go back to your file manager in this createuser.php file that you got from a1websitepro.com. Make sure you delete that, okay, so that no harm will come to your website. Now, the, now you have a user with administration privileges. We'll be able to log in and take care of things. Okay, this is Max with A1 Website Pro. I hope this helps somebody out just in case you're having an emergency. I'll include the link to the file in the video.